Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your weekly reading. You are the last one of the bunch this time because you were the first up last time, but um, nevertheless, saving the best for last. Uh, this is all centering around the full wolf moon in Cancer with the lunar eclipse coming up on the 10th. So I'm pulling cards from the queen of the moon as well as moonology for you. So there you go. It is an emotional moon. Emotions will be running high. It is your full moon. You did not get one in 2019. You got missed. So this one's going to pack a bit of a punch. So let me let me walk you through it. Also, uh, my notes from my favorite astrologer is that this eclipse is emphasizing your first house of, so this is where all the emotions going to come in, personality, physicality, your identity, your health, inner needs, your personal well-being, and it's seeking balance with your seventh house directly opposite on your natal chart of partnerships, experts in the public. Those experts might be agents, consultants, doctors, lawyers, etc. So those are the two houses you may want to investigate. You can Google that for more information, but also Mercury is in the picture here. Mercury is the planet of communication. So this the, the emotional energies will impact communication in your relationships fyi okay let me pull the card for you if you are new to the channel welcome i hope you'll consider subscribing liking sharing the video oh wow look you got gratitude you start with an energy of thanks and gratitude and you get you get better things coming towards you um so welcome if you're new, if you are returning, thank you so much for your support of the channel, your comments, your well wishes, your engagement, sharing the videos, come on, um, emailing, your emails, your bookings, it's all been wonderful. So thank you very much, my beautiful Cancerians. I'm pulling a card from Moonology for you. Oh wow, look at this. You're so very close to achieving your goal. That's a gibbous moon energy. Okay, so I'm going to read these to you. Let's start with card 23 is gratitude. Two and three is five. That is about change. <laughs> be where you are and be thankful. There is always something to be grateful for no matter your suffering. Gratitude raises a lower vibration to a higher one. Do not allow yourself to be surrounded by too many negative people. Life is conspiring for you. So as I mentioned, we're in your own moon and it's going to impact you maybe more than any other sign. So, so stay in this attitude of gratitude. And don't let anybody shake you off your path. Now we're going to look at the... Um, Give us moon here in moonology. Page 30. All right. It says, the word gibbous means bulging. What a descriptive word, right? <laughs> and pulling this card at any time of the month suggests that the situation you're asking about is bulging with possibility and coming to a peak. But this isn't an ending card with a neat yes or no answer. Rather, you're being reminded that some adjustments may yet be required before you get what you want, though you're certainly on the right track, which is hopefully reassuring for you. However, there is also a sense that the situation is a bit, bit tense, so don't push too hard. One false move and the whole thing could blow. That's not meant to scare you. It's just to let you know there's a fuse attached to this situation, so be careful if you choose to light it. Yikes. Yeah. So you're on the precipice of something very big here. You're just about to achieve a big goal. You're going to stay in an attitude of gratitude. That's going to help you move forward and weather any, you know, anything that comes on your path that might feel like it's going to throw you off your path. I keep forgetting. Uh, I do want to read from the Magdalene Oracle as well. Because this is one of the more emotional moons, Cancer, I thought I would offer some spiritual guidance from this beautiful, beautiful deck. Let's see what comes through for you. The Prophet. 
Look at that tree of life on fuego. Let's see what the prophet says. All unfolds in perfect time and all you need to know is revealed at the most perfect moment. Be patient and trust for angelic forces are at work in your life right now. Feel the presence of the goddess within you. Ask her to clear your mind so that you may hear her guidance within your heart. The goddess speaks through feelings that stir within you. Feel her pull your heartstrings as she bathes you in her healing light. You will receive a sudden inspiration when you least expect it, and this will lead to a most positive outcome. Be pre prepared for a pleasant surprise. I feel that's really tied to this how very close you are to hitting your mark, right? It feels like it's right there. So stay in gratitude and know that everything is conspiring for you. All right. If you're new to the channel, as I said, welcome. But know that this is a general reading for the collective. There are a lot of Cancerians out there. So I'm just sort of tapping into whatever message is coming through the strongest. If it isn't your message, that doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just not your message. You can check the uh, videos for your rising moon or Venus sign. You may get some help there. But generally speaking, if the title resonates with you and if the message resonates with you, it doesn't matter when you're watching this, even if it's not around this full moon. It's your message. Also, I can be speaking to cross watchers. So if you're here, welcome. Underlying energy here, Cancer of the Fool. Wow. Leap of faith, brand new day, turn the page. This can also be risky behavior, though, so I'm going to put a pin in it and wait to see what other cards come out. Just as a refresher, this top row, it's my intention that it represents the other person, Cancer. However, as I go through, if you feel that the second row is the other person and you're up here, that's okay. Just flip it. It doesn't make the reading wrong. It just means the energies are reversed for you. And then um, the bottom row here represents the connection. And I do sort of evaluate this as a past, present, future. Um, but it doesn't have to be long ago past. It can be very fast moving energy or it can be covering a long period of time. It just depends on the other cards that come out. Look at the fools on the bottom right here. Okay, so um, let me tell you what I've got here. Top row, past energy, nine of swords, a lot of mental energy, anxiety here. Present energy for this person, page of cups, a small message of love or apology. And then we have the six of swords. They're moving to calmer waters. And that's a mental shift as well. You're coming right in here as the as the Knight of Cups, Cancer. Here's a card of moving toward love. This is taking action, moving toward love, hard on your sleeve. But in the past, you were Knight of Pentacles energy. That was slow moving. And then now in the future, we have the world, endings and new beginnings. Aquarius and Capricorn represented there. And down here in the bottom of the connection, Gemini energy in the lovers in the past, making a choice. Present energy is Libra, justice. Fairness and balance could be a legal situation. And then in the future, we have the Six of Pentacles, balance, fairness, balance again. So we have balance twice. But now it feels like it's not just about balance being restored. This is stability. Balance, fairness, reciprocity, equal give and take. So this, if, if there is... I'm just going to say it because there are a few of you that may be going through this. If there is a divorce, this it, this to me feels like a fair and balanced settlement. If there is a breakup, fair and balanced settlement, right? Fair and balanced dividing of the assets is how that feels to me just right here. And because we have the, uh, the lover's card here is a card of choice. I kind of feel like I'm seeing at least a message there. It may not be for all of you. It may be just for a very few of you. But let's see what we've got here. The Fool is Aquarius. Aquarian energy here. Why is the Fool showing up? Underlying energy of the Fool here. For Cancer. Yeah, I feel you, you're walking away from something here, Cancer. Um, 
at the very least from some emotional drama taking like this is like brand new day i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go for it i'm gonna i'm gonna fl i'm gonna leave it's almost like acting on impulse a bit not knowing where you're gonna land but knowing that Wherever you're headed, it has to be better than where you are. That could be your energy or coming from the other person. I think it's your energy because they're in this nine of swords, very caught up in their head. And in your energy here, it's endings and new beginnings. Nine of swords, very troubled here. They want six of swords comes out twice. Yeah, they're just trying to get. Wow. Yeah, this person's moving on. In the past energy here, something highly anxiety provoking. They had to get away from it. Get, find some balance and stability in their own. Like this is a six, right? It's about balance and stability. Ace of Pentacles, they, they're... You know, receive this gift of a brand new beginning, something much more stable for themselves, moving forward, chariot. There's the Cancerian energy. This could be you up here, Cancer. I, I just feel like it reached a feverish pitch, and whoever this is just had to get out of Dodge and, and go find. This is a big opportunity. Could just be that this was an opportunity because we have this. You're very close to achieving your goal, so that could have been this all this anxiety could have been about that if we flip the energies it could be that um but i'm just seeing that somebody had this big opportunity this this brand new start that they were really anxious about but they quickly got balanced and moved toward that energy toward that opportunity but little page of cups here page of cups here in the present energy for this person Oof, a lot of communication for sure. Hermit, page of wands. Nine of cups on the bottom, wishful, f nope, 10 of cups, my bad, 10 of cups, wow. I feel like um, whoever this person is, is communicating a message of love that I feel is being received here. And I'll get to all this in a moment. So I kind of feel that um, whoever this is in the past, there was some anxiety with regard to some brand new beginning. They wanted to move to smoother waters, get balanced, get their, get their mental energy back, but they were moving forward with this new beginning. In, in light of that new beginning, they are offering a message of love, a lot of passionate communication back and forth. This is not just one-sided. And I kind of feel that it's received here. And I almost, then we have this, this hermit energy. And that's going within. That's very sage-like energy. And the sage is usually the teacher, can be a guide. But it can also be about going within and learning about oneself. So I almost feel that they're communicating about this person's communicating very passionately about all they've learned, how much inner work they've done, right? What they've learned about themselves, maybe some spiritual um, books they've, they've gone through or listened to or, you know, something that they watched that really had a profound effect on them. They just really went within and they're very excited to talk about it. And then we get this page of wands. It's a little light of a match. This is a flirtation. It's a flirtation, but I think this person has something way bigger in store. This was on the bottom of the deck. This is the unconscious motivation. The unconscious motivation here is the ultimate of emotional contentment. So while this person is starting small, page of cups and page of wands, we got love and passion here. They want the whole kit and caboodle. And in the future, they move toward that. So let's see what is coming on their path here. Six of 
Swords. We know that was in the past energy. Now it's in the future energy. Six of Swords for this person. Yes, it's about their future. This is this person is making a choice, looking at the paths before them, right? And remember, this is their unconscious energy here. This is the motivation behind this light flirtation, telling, talking all about what they've learned about themselves, their higher self too, not just themselves in general, their higher self. They're looking at the two paths before them. There isn't really a right or a wrong, but one is better for them. And that's what they're moving toward. Now, here we go. <laughs> if this is your energy here, Cancer, slow moving in the past. Something was moving very slowly. What's this Knight of Pentacles about for this person? Very slow moving with regard to past life soulmate, somebody from your past. Could be this person um, persevering. All right. So I feel that while this person was all up in their head and you, you kind of slowed your roll here because it's with regard to this past life soulmate and persevering strong enough to get over any challenges. And there were challenges here. There were. I say were because it's in the past. But not now. Now they offer this cup of love. They get beyond the anxiety. They move to smoother waters. They recognize the power of this new beginning. And they move toward it. Ace of Pentacles and Chariot. So you get to shift out of the slow energy into... You're at a nice trot now, right? <laughs> you're, you're, you're not going at a snail's pace. Knight of Cups here. Knight of Cups, present energy, please. Flash of Insight, Page of Pentacles. Okay, we have a lot of pages here. I feel this is a reset. This is either a brand new relationship or a reset. Moving toward love. We have an Ace of Swords here. This is a, a, a card of victory, but it's like divinely gifted insight, knowledge, wisdom, it's truth. It's like your truth. It's, it's maybe recognizing this person as the past life soulmate. So maybe that slow roll you had in the past is speeding up now. You're feeling more sure than ever before of who this person is to you. But you're starting small. This is a page of pentacles. This is a new beginning, something stable, something grounded. You know, this we're we're not we're not putting a ring on it yet, but we're we're recognizing the potential here and we're sort of it's like a reset. It's either a reset within an existing relationship or this is a new relationship because we have page of cups, page of wands, now page of pentacles. Let's look at this world card for you here in the future. If I have the energies right, endings and new beginnings. The world here in the future for Cancer. Mm. I kind of feel like, um, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull this card. It was on the bottom of the deck, Seven of Swords, and I'll tell you why in a minute. I feel the underlying energy here ma makes more sense to me now. Uh, leap of faith to leave a, f a former relationship. I don't think it's this person. I think it's somebody from the past that you decided to walk away from. An emotional drama took a leap of faith, and you exited. The reason why this is coming up in the same lineup here for you, endings and new beginnings, I think that was on its way out as this was coming in. And I feel that there was some resistance here and somebody who wasn't playing fair. I feel it's that energy of what you were walking away from. I feel in the future, this whoever this is that you walked away from is going to put up a fight. 
and you've just you just got your heels dug in you're just going to be patient you've planted the seeds you're waiting for this new energy to grow and evolve and i don't think you're going anywhere anytime soon you're going to be patient and this this deceptive player energy we have three negative cards here ending of what ending of deception betrayal breaches of trust underhanded maneuvers and tactics resistance argumentativeness here right my way or the highway end of that you're going to end it very patiently you've planted the seeds this is this feels very much like taking a leap of faith and running but i'm not feeling the running i then feel it goes right into knight of pentacles slow moving energy as you move toward a past life soulmate you persevere you overcome this negative energy this person who isn't really going to be so quick to let you go five of swords seven of wands wow but seven of pentacles i'll wait that's what you're saying i'll wait till this seven of swords five of swords seven 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 three sevens in a row here Oof. some strong energy there okay cancer let's look at the connection now we have the choice we have justice balance and fairness and i i'm not kidding for some of you this is a divorce and you have to, in the future you get a fair and balanced settlement that's why i feel whoever it is is not going to fight fair and isn't going to let you go very easily is going to resist is going to pull out every sneaky little trick in the book they may try to steal from you. That's what you're walking away from. You're taking a leap of faith. This up here, this person up here is someone new. It is not the negative energy that's down here. Lovers in the past here, making a choice for cancer here. Knight of Wands shows up. Wow, Ace of Cups, sure. Wow, I think you guys, um, I think you make a choice for each other. It, there is some anxiety here, and now I understand it better if this person knows what you were going through, and it's very possible they did. And they, they, they maybe made, you know, saw this as a brand new start for, you know, like a, this is a new relationship mover, moving to calmer waters to take advantage of that. And so a choice has had to be made. And I think you chose each other. And this Knight of Wands is that swashbuckling, it's fast moving, passionate energy. It's the sweep you off your feet kind. And there's that Ace of Cups. So to me, that energy is very much like, oh, we know what this is. Because now in the same lineup here, we have Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Past life soulmate, strength. Yeah beautiful energy all the way down here now let's see what this present energy of justice is about it is about balance and fairness like i said it can be legal documents or legal situations being resolved in your favor yep that's your wish your dream come true is to have this balance to have everything sorted out fairness balance you're not looking to hurt anybody you're not looking to be hurt you just want out out of whatever this negative energy is um i do feel you're going to be very patient about it you're waiting for enlightenment for a sign uh waiting waiting for your opportunity to move forward but balance and fairness is what is on the menu in the future six of pentacles for cancer Six of Pentacles in the future here. Balance, fairness, equal give and take, reciprocity, stability. Oh, after the tower, sure. That makes sense. Yes. Yes. Endings and new beginnings. Can't make it up. There's the world card now getting the confirmation. Balance and fairness and will be restored to you in every way here, Cancer. Financially, emotion, all of it. All of it your stability whatever that means to you 
will be restored. Things will be balanced and fair. There will be equal give and take. And if there's a legal situation that's being dealt with in the present or any kind of breakup where things have to be divided, it will work out in your favor here and it will work out fairly and equitably. Tower's coming in. What's tower getting rid of? This toxic, terribly manipulative energy. You will be released. Now, I know I said this is the connection, but here's this connection, endings and new beginnings. So I feel this is talking like you recognize this new person. You have to extricate yourself from this whatever drama you're in. And then in the future, that's exactly what happens. Spirit comes in and wipes out what is no longer solid or stable or healthy. Restores balance and fairness in a way that is equitable. And now the new the endings and the new beginnings can take place. And that's why you're moving on to calmer waters with this person and shedding all the five of swords. This, this person's going to put up a fight. Do not get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. This isn't going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy, but you're going to get out of it. That I know for sure. Wow, Cancer, this reading is crazy. Woo! I need an adult beverage. It's got to be 5 o'clock somewhere. Here's where we're going, Cancer. If this reading is speaking your storyline, there is a link below to the extended. I'm going to look at messages to you from Spirit. That can be an advice, a warning. It can just be acknowledgement of the situation. I'm going to give you a message from the new person to you, this you know person who's sort of in the wings, and a message from you to them. And then we'll look at the outcome card, and if we can get any hits on timing of when all this shiz is going to move out, and the, the ending will happen, and the new beginning can come out into the light of day, full, right? It would be there. So I hope you'll follow me. The link is below. Otherwise, I'll see you in a future reading. Please enjoy your full moon cancer it might be a little bit bumpy but it could bring a whole lot of um clarity to some situations all the best always bye